uh, Mal Fletcher, somebody else who knows what he's on about, I hasten to add, is on the show, social commentator. What do you make of this? That The fact that the company, Mal, have put up guidelines on how to make this safe, so thus implying it's not safe, the advert, advert's been banned. Yeah, good morning, John. Look, I think we created this culture of political correctness now in Britain where even the slightest divergence from a narrowly defined norm causes offence. So, you know, I may see something that I'm uncomfortable with or I find a little irksome, but it doesn't mean it's harmful to other people and should be denied to them. And I think the other challenge is, is when it comes to children in particular, is overprotecting them. Um, it's right to be watchful over children's safety. Of course it is. But being overly protective just reduces their opportunities to learn, to take risks properly and watchfully. It reduces their chance to play, which is an important part of their social and psychological development. And we just try to create a non-threatening environment, but it, but it ends up being counterproductive. It produces young people who can't adjust to the challenges of life. They're overly uh, reticent and they're overly reliant on other people to make their decisions. It does seem to be, um, as as the uh, channelmum.com founder Siobhan Freegarder said, since when did a simple pleasure like tapping out a tune on a tin can become something for health and safety to shelter us all from? Yes, exactly. And I, Look, there was a study a few years ago that I found interesting. It was among 20-something millennials, so young people aged 20 and over. And it found that at the time they were saying, I find it difficult to go on holidays and manage my time on holidays because someone has always done it for me. So in the home, my parents did it. At work, my boss does it. I haven't learned the skills of self-reliance. And of course, self-reliance, John, always carries an element of risk. And denying children and young people a certain degree of risk robs them of the opportunity to develop fully as human beings. And make mistakes. And make mistakes as we all do and learn from them uh, and be able to teach the next generation about those mistakes. Isn't it, again, an, uh, uh, the, the, the line has been made, there are lots of other dangers facing children, bullying, poverty, and this ad isn't one of them, yet this ad is going to be on, well, was going to be on the TV, possibly surrounded by TV programmes that show, I don't know, for instance, say if it's a police crime show, uh, showing people doing wrong things, if it's a drama, people being killed, um, if it's around the jungle, celebrities eating bugs in the jungle. Isn't that now a cause for concern that we shouldn't have these programmes on the TV because children are at risk? Yes, well, I mean, I would say, where are the parents in all of this? If, if there are risks in any of those things, then, then the individual parent has to make a choice. But that doesn't mean that the rest of society has to be closed off to certain things that, as I said, are irksome but not necessarily harmful to children just because a small number of people don't like them. And, look, as you say, you're right, there are bigger issues for children today, like bullying, like trolling online and sex, uh, sexting on phones. These are things that we need to be spending our time, focus and money on, not these other things that I would consider to be relatively small in importance. Mal, good to talk to you. Thank you for that. That's Mal Fletcher.